Parasite looking to gank to the mid lane with the Skeleton King. Uh... Yep, he's coming from behind here on the Gladiator. We don't have level 6 on the Defiler, but there is the face hug. And there's the bottle sips. The golden apple will be used. Is he going to make the escape? There is a wave coming up in one more second. And Gladiator, he will get just enough heal. The call to arms debuff as well, preventing some of that damage. And he will survive there. Nice. Here. Parasite is up in the top it. lane. Yeah, we're going to see the engagement here from Magnus. There's the eruption being channeled. There is no cancel to that. The shrubbery being used here. Is Bramble going to make the escape? No, he will not. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Parasite's coming in from the flank. The Minotaur, so I'm going to land on the Monarch as the Dart is down. Flux taking heavy pressure from the Sapphire. He will get out of range of that shard and the auto attacks are coming in but now they're turning it on to sapphire he uses the golden apple there's the crystallize will he be able to make the escape as the filer cuts him off here from the side hastern on the gladiator he goes for the pitfall it does connect on the engineer but he wants the flux there's the whip coming in parasite does not have a face like to steal this as there's the slow coming out hastern is running out in eight more seconds but he does get the kill here on the flux Fine ball in the mid lane scrap is there a leech? No, it was already used. Scrap's gonna get himself the distance. Meanwhile, off to the side, there's a stun from Magnus. Gladiator pulls him back with the show pulls himself back with the showdown, uses the apple into the call to arms. And how is nobody dead just yet, Ramity? Magnus, Magnus gets an gonna rune. find himself an invisibility rune. Will this wave come out? Oh, he's gotta guess, he's gotta go for it. Oh, but he does not uh, go for it. Quickly. Oh, <laughs> Willow Keeper takes advantage of him being down there, and they are going to go cutthroat at the tier three tower Eruption. here. Forces out the glyph. Yeah, the eruption is being channeled, does, does land on the engineer. There's not gonna be enough for a kill. The energy field does come down. Parasite is in the midst of the fight as Lux did not have a pull, remember, he did use that for the Monarch kill. Parasite gonna get kicked out of his creep. Is he gonna go down? Yes, he will. The Rift Shards, one gets picked up by the Sapphire. Does crit him down. Defiler oh, is gonna get auto attack oh, wow. down by the Sapphire. It is a double tap coming out for Luisius there as Flux will TP on out of there. Engineer uh, gonna go for the Juke into the port out. There's the dust and the whip comes out. A good heads up presence of mind there from the Gladiator with that dust. Uh, I don't think he... Sapphire, she does not have her shrunken, but she has the wing bow picked up. There's the shard down. The damage, and she's gonna bring down the Bramble. The shard does actually get killed off, and now Flux gets opened by the Genjuro. And look at that damage, Ramatias. as they will get the kill there on the Monarch. Two kills go in the way of the Paloma. They're trying to get the catcher on the Defiler, as there's a dust, and that's gonna be a third kill. Savage 6 she comes out for the Sapphire, and the boards are so... And okay. So neither side blocked the uh, pull as we oh, have an engagement here on the j so He doesn't have the dig, he already used it, and that's going to be the apple. There. It will be the bloodless kill. Yeah, he had the apple, he didn't use it, he used the health pot. There's the apple used from Moira. Now Rally does not have mana, and this could be a double tap coming in for the team. Taro and... Oh, there's the apple, but one more auto attack. The slow from the ricochet. Is he actually as we see him courting to the bot lane. And, you know, this could be the recovery that they need in this bot lane. Hatred on the Gladiator, Moira we're gonna get in tr uh, get caught here as they are gonna out number three versus two. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Nymphora does go down and miss that one on the camera, but Moira, there's the top, Gladiator will get the kill there, and Taro gonna have to kind of just let it happen as, you know, there wasn't really a way to save Moira there, unfortunately. Oh, no, he's coming back kill. for more. Yeah, he's almost kind of faking that he's gone. Taro, she's gonna get pitfalled up here by the Gladiator, there's the stun. And Taro, he's gonna use the Golden Apple, but it's not gonna be enough. And it's going to be a double tap for the Gladiator. Here's another showdown. They're thinking about going back in. No mana for the dick stun. There's the power supply into the stun. As Rally doesn't have mana for the compel. Another pitfall lands, and Moira is going to fall. The Gladiator being down here for about a minute straight is going to cause a third kill. And that's gonna really recover the spot lane. That Here comes Bot lane, Rally misses the compel, and that could be disastrous. Moira gonna stun up two, Crystal Field does come down, it's gonna force them to reposition as the Bound by Fate will lock down the Rally in place, and there is going to be the kill going the way of Luisius. Here comes supported from Malakin, the Sword Throw will miss, the possession is up, and Taro is now on the run, the Pitfall will miss as well, but there is a Digson gonna connect, Showdown connects now on the Taro as the Soul Trap comes out from the Gladiator, Call to Arms is going to secure that kill, but Drunken Master from the backside does doing Geomancer in the air, and that will be one kill. He is thinking about going from behind here to try to set up the kill onto Malakin. And Malakin, he could be in some trouble here. There is a lunge up in two more seconds. He's going to go in. Can he get the doing up? No, yes, he can, as he does get pulled uh, pulled just in time there. And Rally comes in with a slam. There is the Moira Shard going to stun up both. Drunken Master is not done just yet, but he's going to stagger away. He's got that Soul Trap debuff on him. 
He might be just fine there as Gladiator who gets mana with the Chalice for a pitfall. He's going to go for it. Oh. And it will connect, actually. A beautiful pitfall. And Drunken will get pulled back from that showdown. Moira now also going to fall the taunts are up left and right. And two more kills go in the way of Willow Keeper. It is now a 12 to 10 lead still in favor, though. Like I've seen. Gladiator so are going to get caught here. Pitfall going to land on the Drunken, but there is the. Three point strike gonna send him in the air. G Mancer did use the dig stun. Auto attacks. The bind comes in from the tarot, but there is the gladiator slam in the background. And the scrap does fall. Rally's gonna get doinged in the air. He gets punched. He's getting pushed everywhere. As Malakin, he's gonna board in on top of the tarot. Now he does not have it. He doesn't have an astrolabe. He's gonna use it there at the last second. This, he sends him in the air on the drunken master. Tarot will survive. Navora's trying to chase down the tarot. Meanwhile, drunken master and, and Malakin are battling it out. The stagger will take him out. And Taro and Cthulhuphon will take out the Aura. Uh, Geomancer snipes out the Taro in the back row, getting the double tap, but I think it will come at a cost Ramity as a couple more punches Three from the seconds. Drunken Master. He's boxing One. him down, but there's the trample oh, from Cthulhuphon like as he did pick up that portal key, which we failed to mention. Picks up a double tap as well. Look at what Drunken Master's going for, Ramity. Oh, he's matching it. They have oh. the same items, almost. Yeah. <laughs> They're both doing the the temple from Cthulhu Ball. It's going to catch the rally. There's the deal done, though. Breaking the stagger, or, or the lunge, excuse me, from Drunken Master. I always get that mixed up. But here is the slam coming out from the rally. Does connect on the Drunken. And there's the Arcane Vortex. Going to avoid that crystal field. Will they make the escape here as Moira jumps in with the Shards of Archon? Drunken Master will make the escape. A beautiful trample from Cthulhu Bond. Stunning three. The heal comes down from Nymphora, but Geomancer falls. Falls, as well as the rally, Crap sacrifices himself as Malakin makes the escape there with the soul trap from the gladiator, and they're not done just yet. Moira cannot get in range for a start, so no, she does, as it was put on the Cthulhu Fong. Regen rune on the Drunken Master, gonna maybe cause issues for them as Malakin one hit in the background. Drunken Master chasing there on the Nymphora, he's duking in the trees, and they do get the kill onto the gladiator. Drunken Master can't find the Nymphora there as he's forced to fall back. Bottom tier to tower. Pitfall is gonna connect, they do get the tower. Here comes the slam, but it's gonna miss! Drunken Master's gonna hold his ground. There's the call to arms, stunning him up, but there's the whip coming in from gladiator as Terra does bind them together. She does have a ricochet coming up in one more second. She will get the one kill on to Rally, and she will hold her ground. No, she will fall, but Gladiator does die first, as it is a two for two fight, and it's not done just yet. Crystal Field is down. Scrap will get stunned up. There's the heal pod coming in from Nufora as Moira and Scrap are here. Get through the font with the Obliterate as well. Sword Throw is in. Malakin is here, but there's an Arcane Vortex stalling the team fight. She jumps in with the Shards of Harkon. Gonna stun up both the Malakin and not gonna connect on the G-Mancer. Pitfall does. Uh, miss as well, and Scrap will go down to the sword throw here from Malakin. So, a very messy fight. It was a buyback, by the way, from the Gladiator. So, they did. Drunken goes in though on the Malakin. Trample comes in on the backline. Rally and Nymphora getting stunned up. Malakin taking heavy pressure. He turns on the Incendiaries. There's the heal coming in from Nymphora. Is it going to get blown up? Not in time. Malakin does fall. The pitfall does connect on the Drunken Master. And Rally goes down in the background as well. They do get the tarot as well. As the dive is maybe going to happen here. Drunken Master goes in. They are going to bring down the Gladiator as Drunken sacrifices himself for, for the hat trick. And it is going to be three players still alive against the Geomancer here. So a four for two fight in favor of the Paloma as oh. well, Cthulhu Okay, well, oh. too easy. <laughs> that, uh, well. It's a genocide, folks. That'll do it. Into the Legion jungle. I missed that one, but. That's a bit questionable. He didn't even have a word of sight, actually, on him, so I'm, I'm a I little was... confused.